A very strange sighting by some high school students near Pocatello has Sasquatch hunters coming to southeast Idaho. Eyewitness News reporter Jake Taylor shows us what those students saw. The students were on a school project in these woods when they say they saw a dark figure watching them on a ridge. Well, one student pulled his camera out in time to capture this footage. A few fleeting seconds of a dark something disappearing into the tree line. And it just didn't really look human-like, so I don't really know what that is. It's not a bear. It's not a moose or anything. Um, it's, it was big and bulky and black. The students then climbed that ridge and took photographs of some Bigfoot prints they found. Idaho State University professor Jeff Meldrum is a Bigfoot expert. His office filled with suspected photos and plaster casts of prints. He examined the photo and the short video of the distant figure. It nevertheless is a large, dark figure that bears a striking resemblance to descriptions of Sasquatch. Most associate Sasquatch with the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia, but Dr. Meldrum says there's a long history of Bigfoot lore in the Intermountain West and Idaho, though with different names. The notion of the immigrants coming uh, into this new frontier and encountering strange and marvelous things, including stories of wild men and mountain devils. Or it could all be a hoax. But the high school student who shot the video doesn't seem to be looking for attention. He asked us not to show his face or give his name, and he says right now he's simply not sure just what it was he saw standing on that ridge. I'm not going to say yes it was a Bigfoot or no it wasn't because I don't know and I, nobody knows. The Animal Planet show Finding Bigfoot is making a stop in Pocatello sometime in the middle of June just to see if there's anyone else in this area who's also seen something Sasquatch-like. Reporting in Pocatello, I'm Jake Taylor. Dr. Meldrum is doing a presentation on the history of Sasquatch along the Oregon Trail in Montpelier Friday and Saturday.